So guys, today we're just going to discuss O Tekofaso Mabasa. This is a Sekukune United a striker who has been loaned. You know, he's a, in a, a loan striker because he comes from Orlando Pirates. He is there on his, a season loan. And perhaps the, the positive news is that his loan spell comes to an end at the end of this current season. And we've already established which is just five games and the net bank cup. So it's just two months and he can come back to Pirates. But now we don't know if Pirates really wants to see him there, if they really want to keep him because he has not been getting regular game time at Sukukune. So what I am sure of is that uh, Umaba Asari, 26 year old, just scored twice in his 18 appearances this season and he says Wuti he would like to go back to his parent club which is Orlando Pirates, you know. So yeah guys, this is what he said, you know, this is what he told Power Sports Extra. He said, it's always a thought that creeps into my mind. I am one person that never doubted myself and I have never doubted that talent that God has blessed me with. So regardless of where I may be going, obviously I would like to go back to Pirates and pick up where I left off, which is just continuing to give my best for the club and continuing to score goals and build my career as well. You know, he says, yes, I believe I can make a big difference within that Orlando Pirates team. Guys, those are the ways coming straight from Tehofaso Mabasa. He has expressed his desire to return to his parent club. But like I said, it is unclear whether the Buccaneers share the same sentiments because they loaned him because they have a lot of strikers. Honestly speaking, if I count Sekofaso Mabasa and I count Abo Pepra and Lipasa and Abo Radiopane, Abo Maro, Abo Mapena, they can give you 9 to 10 strikers. So it shows what the Pirates need to make a decision. Some of these strikers, in all reality, they need to be released. That's all. You know, so that there can be space for some players to play and for competition to keep going. But honestly, 10 strikers is a bit too much. But again, it's Orlando Pirates team that has that capacity of quality and they're going to play the Champions League. So maybe even keeping all of these strikers is not a bad idea. But the reality of it is that there are some strikers who are not going to play if Orlando Paris does not release them because it's so unrealistic to have a squad of 11 players and then you have a bench that you have 8 to 10 strike or 8 to 9 strikers on the bench. So what about other positions? So that is why I'm saying good me now according to me, Njela into Ezilun Sayon Kelento, Ugutikbina Ma player a release while who the coach feels that he does not feel like he they are part of his plan. So guys, on the other hand, uh, Urlan Mogwena has clarified his comment about his preference for Kesha Smailula, who is 21 years old, by the way, to, to have played for Bafana Bafana uh, under 23, which unfortunately they could not qualify for the AFCON because they didn't do well against Congo Brazzaville. Uh, he he was selected for the national team, you know, the senior team, which did qualify, you know, when they played against the Elip Liberia. So, Roland Mokwena feels that he was misinterpreted. He feels that when he said that Kesha Smailula, he felt like he should have been selected for the under-23 and not the senior Bafana Bafana. He feels like uh, he was misinterpreted to, to say uh, he was not ready for the big team, you know, for Bafana Bafana, and this is something that he has clarified. He says, maybe I was misinterpreted because a lot of people thought I was saying Keshas is not ready for Bafana Bafana, but how can Keshas be ready to play for Sundowns against El Ali? And that's me, you know, who makes that decision, and I contradict myself, and I say he's not ready for Bafana. So what I've said, and if you remember, even in the beginning of the parts of the season, I've said this very clearly. Offensive players get 
better by being on the pitch and I would have loved to see Keshas on the pitch for 90 minutes against Congo. Even away, you know, uh, then to have him come for 15 minutes, 20 minutes for Bafana, the intensity, the pressure to help the national you know, the nation in, in terms of the under 23s to qualify. These are the games of consequence and I would have loved to have him get those 90 minutes and carry the national team and be under pressure because that would have helped him to become better, to improve and get that experience. So, guys, I, I hope Manju Hutin is when he said that he felt that Kesha Smailula should have been part of the under 23s, and not the Bafana Bafana team. He did not mean that he was not ready to play for Bafana Bafana. He, it's just that he didn't like the fact that he would come and play 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, because that was slow his momentum, obviously. So he felt that if he was selected for the under-23s, he would get that full match, right? And he would get that pressure. He would get that intensity, which will help him grow as a player. So I think now... You know, he has clarified that, you know. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, uh, there's nothing much that can be done now. You know, maybe going into the future, obviously. Because the reality is that the under-23s failed to qualify for AFCON. And he still has a chance to play for Bafana Bafana senior team because they did qualify for AFCON. So, yeah, that's the positive side of it.